And I think it's true that like with tic-tac-toe, we see that like GPT 4.5 falls over, you know, it plays decently well. I shouldn't say it falls over. It, it does reasonably well. You can draw the board. It can make legal moves, but it will make mistakes sometimes. And if you really need that system too, to enable it to play perfectly. Now it's possible that if you got to GPT 6 and you just did system one, it would also play perfectly. You know, <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll know one day, but I think right now you need a system two to really like do well. What do you think are like the things that you need in system one? So obviously general understanding of like game rules. Do you also need to understand some sort of like metagame of like, you know, usually this is like how you value pieces in different games, even though it's a, you know, how do you generalize in system one so that then in system two, you can kind of get to the gameplay, so to speak? I think the more that you have in your in, in the system one, like this is the same thing with humans, you know, like humans are when they're playing for the first time uh, a game like chess, they can apply a lot of system two thinking to it. And if you mm-hmm. if you apply a ton of system two thinking to it, like if, if you just present a really smart person with a completely novel game and you tell them like, okay, you're going to play this game against like an AI or like a human that's like mastered this game. And you tell them to like sit there and, you, and think about it for like three weeks about how to play this game. My guess is they could actually do pretty well, but it certainly helps to build up that system one thinking, like build up intuition about about the game because it will just make you so much, yeah, so much faster.